It's an interesting phenomenon that a lot of YouTube creators never make a mistake. Now, does that mean that if you're putting videos on YouTube that you're perfect? You know better. I know better. It's not that those creators are perfect. It's that those creators are not willing to show their mistakes on camera. I find that I learn more from my mistakes than I do from my successes. So I am more than willing to show you when I've been stupid. This video is exactly one of those cases. Greetings fellow DIYer and welcome to my video. I have a series of videos on hooking up a braking resistor to a treadmill motor so that you have a braking action on your mill or lathe when you turn it off. This is the fifth video in that series and either way, once this project is all said and done, there will be a sixth. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I started that series well over two years ago. Got it to a sort of conclusion point, but never really got it installed on my machine. I have finally circled back around, installed it on my mill lathe combo, and as you would guess from the intro, there's a problem. Let me take you into the other room and I'll show you exactly what I have going on. So this was supposed to be my triumphant demonstration of my automatic braking system on my mill lathe combo. Let me first show you it's set up with the brake disconnected and just the normal action of the spindle when you go to stop it. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn it on. About a thousand RPM. We shut it off, takes about three seconds to come to a stop. Now let me go ahead and hook the brake up and I will show you it working because it does in fact work, it just doesn't work completely. Yeah, I'll show you what I got going on. Once again, we come, we turn it on. We cut the power and that stops spinning in about a second. That shows the braking system is working. The relay on the back is controlling the connection between the motor and the resistors and seems like no issue, no problem. But now if we turn it back on and we go here to switch the direction, we're back to not having the braking action. And that is because I did not take into account that by putting this in the off position, we are actually disconnecting the motor from anything. It's not connected to the power supply, it's not connected to the brake, it's not connected to anything. Emergency stop, master power, both connect the motor to the braking resistor and cause the motor to come to a stop quickly. But using the forward and reverse to do it does not work as I had intended. So here's the problem. Here's why that setup in there is not working. It's because the installer didn't follow his own schematic. If you look at the schematic, you see that I have it drawn out so that the relay is the last thing before the motor. When I installed it on my lathe, it was a whole lot easier to put the relay between the power supply and the direction switch. The problem there is when you flip that direction switch to the off position, you are disconnecting the motor from anything. And at that point, you no longer have the braking action. So I'm going to head back into the garage and I'm going to disconnect a lot of what I've already connected. And we are going to do it correctly. We will put the relay after the direction switch, not in front of it. And that should give us the braking action when we hit the master power, when we hit the emergency stop, and when we use the direction switch. 
So I would absolutely love to get out there, get that rewired, put the relay between the direction switch and the motor as it should be, and then show you the video of everything working and have a finished project video. Problem is, there's a fair amount of work involved in rewiring it. I have to disconnect the wires that I already have set up, reroute a few things, and then I have to go back in and rewire things. And frankly, I'm running out of time. So rather than making this video the video that it was supposed to be, the success of the automatic braking system, really this is a video on failure. The good news is you might learn something from my failure. You may have had a similar situation and if you put that relay in the wrong spot, it's not going to work properly. I'm hoping to get this all fixed, get this all buttoned up, and next week I will shoot for you the video that I originally intended. We will go through and look at the components of the electronic braking system. We will see it functioning the way it's supposed to, not just with the power button and the emergency stop, but also with the direction switch. And we'll take one more look at the schematic because if this video has proven anything, it's that looking at schematics is important. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them down in the comments and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. If you like what you've seen, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.